Hi, I'm the Database Management System, DBMS to my friends, and I'd like to explain to you why you should use keys in your databases. Before I explain what the keys on this class table can do, let us look at why we need keys in the first place, by having a look at some records in the students table. Hi guys! Hi Mr DBMS! Let me just check that everyone's here. Max? Yes Mr DBMS! Joe? Yes Mr DBMS! And that's our problem. I cannot tell which Joe is which just by using his name. I need something that is guaranteed to be unique. And with millions of students around the world, I just cannot use everyday information such as their names to be certain I've got the right student. I need to find something that will be different for each and every student. Sometimes there will be a unique field, but for now I'm going to give each student an ID number. This is something I can control and therefore can guarantee to be unique. This is the secret to making sure I don't mix up one student with another and it's going to be my primary key. If I know the primary key for this table, I can be absolutely certain I have the right record. Each student gets a different key value. As you can see here, only the right key value will let me get at the right student's record. Keys are useful because they stop me mixing up one student with another, but they get even better when we use them in other tables. Let's have a look at the classes table. Does that look like two copies of Joe's key on those two records? Yes, they are. And because I know they are student keys, I can use them to go back to the student table and look up anything about Joe that I might need. These copies can appear in many records on this table. When a key is used like this, not in its own table, it is called a foreign key. I like to think it has travelled far from its own home, is on holiday. Mm. In this class table, can you see that Joe, with the pink key, is taking two classes? Now what about those other keys? They are different from the student ones, and that's because they are keys for the teachers. If you want to find out more about those teachers, we need to look for those key values on the teachers table. So which teacher has the yellow key? Who has the yellow key? I do. I'm Mr Smith. I'm a science teacher. I've taught here since September 2006. I'm married with... Thank you, thank you. That's quite enough information for the moment about you. But you should see that once we know the key value, we can use it to get all the information we need to from the table where it is the primary key. Putting this key value into other tables as a foreign key means we can keep all the information about Mr Smith in one place and then just use the key to look it up when we need it. So to summarise, a primary key is a unique value in its own table. If the key is then used in other tables, it's called a foreign key.